Hey everyone, Steve Chase with Sequentia Solutions here. We're going to talk about uncategorized assets and why you don't want to have uncategorized assets in your QBO. A common mistake for people while they're reviewing their bank feeds is they'll, they'll see a transfer button here. So I'm going to make a couple mistakes here. I'm going to go ahead and click transfer 2000 out. Oh boy, here's another 2000 out on transfer to uncategorized assets. Now, I should, of course, click on it and read the notes here, but I'm just going to make a mistake here. Transfer. All right. So what will happen here is it will show up as $2,000 in the register. Right. Money out. So money going out um, 2000 here, and I can click on it, edit it, look up here to see the data set here. Okay, and if I were to reconcile this account, sure enough, these $2,000 are gonna show up on the checking account for money out, but you know, it's possible we're paying a credit card or transferring money around, but what is uncategorized assets? Before I learn how to teach how to fix this, let's run the balance sheet, reports, balance sheet, as of today, okay, so there is the problem right there, guys. So that's uncategorized asset. Try explaining that to whoever's reading. What is that? Well, this is clearly a mistake, okay? Um, so if I clicked on the $4,000, I would be able to drill down to see what they are here assuming that the, the date range is enough to cover that. So um, how do we fix this? Okay, so it, it's a great question. Depends on if you've reconciled the $2,000 or not from the checking account. So I'm going to show you that it's not been reconciled in the checking account. I could run a report on reconciliation or probably just the easiest way is go to uh, banking, transactions, Register. Okay, there's there's C's here. If if it's been reconciled, uh, there there would be an R on it. So none of this has been reconciled here. So I am okay, uh, basically uh, undoing those those undoing the matching or switching it out here. So I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna delete those because um, they are mistakes. I'm gonna click here, delete. And it says the transaction was downloaded from bank records. If you delete it now and change your mind later, you can add it back through the online banking page. So sure enough, I do want to add it back in through the bank page. So if I click yes, okay, that 2000 is out of the picture here. So now I'm just a one. I'm going to go transactions banking, show you that it popped back in here, right here. Okay. Now, as far as the other one goes, I could also go to the review tab, find it. Here's the other one. And so this is a great approach here where I can just click the undo button. I like that approach. That one's a little bit more conservative. If you realize you made a mistake, you can go undo it. And you might want to sort by, if you got a ton to clean up, you might go and sort them undo a bunch. So let's verify that. Uh, there's no longer either of those two transactions in the uncategorized assets. Okay, so running the balance sheet report. Uncategorized assets is empty. There's nothing there. So now let's do it the right way. So the right way would be to go to the transactions or you might have banking on your left side here, navigation bar. The correct way before you hit transfer is to make sure you uh, choose the correct account. So for this example here, I read, it says X for transfer, right there, savings. So I want to change this from money out, money spent going towards the savings. And so that is correct right there. Record transfer to the correct account, hit record transfer, and 
if I go to the chart of accounts now, and run the register, I'll see that 2000, 2000 right there is a transfer. And I can come in here, edit that, and I can see essentially what we did was we, we did it the right way. There's no longer an uncategorized assets. So the other opportunity that you would have is just open up the original transfer for uncategorized assets. As you edit that, it would say uncategorized assets and you could just change it to the correct account how would you know which account it's transferring? Click on the online banking matches up above and read what it says there before you do that. And then save and close. And that will help prepare uh, your, your uncategorized assets for being cleaned up. Okay. Hey guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video here. Um, if you'd like to check out more QuickBooks tutorial videos, just head over to my website, sequentiasolutions.com and click the blog button and you'll find a, a lot of video tutorials. Have a great day.